Hello, this is Julia Davis of the Yoga Teachers Forum, and I'm here today with Jenny Stone. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Julia. <laughs> Hi. Um, we are going to be having a chat this morning about our next Teachers Forum, which is taking place on the 29th of April, mm -hmm. 1.30 till 3.30. Life seems quite uncertain at the moment because we are still in late um, March, but um, we will see where we are then. And we are planning to run this via Zoom. We had our last teachers forum um, recently. We had lots of people coming along from all sorts of places. We're not limited to London. Now you can be anywhere in the world to join us yeah. for the meeting. Um, and we've decided to um, really reflect the needs of our yoga community at the moment in the teachers forum. And we're going to be looking at vulnerable members of our yoga community. So I just wanted to ask you, Jenny, yeah. um, can you just let me know kind of how you came to be working with vulnerable groups within our yoga community and, and who you're working with right now? Yeah, so I've been in practice for a long time, both as a yoga teacher and a reflexologist. Um, and... I suppose as with life generally, it's partly by choice, partly by chance of what opportunities come up. Um, the two main areas that I have specialized in are pregnancy and supporting people with cancer. So I think even from training, I knew pregnancy was an area that I wanted to work with. Um, I think it works very, you know, it's a natural thing. It's not an illness. And so just to support that natural process was something I felt very drawn to. Um, and then sort of close after qualifying, I got opportunities to work with cancer patients at my local hospice. And I realized how much I really valued that work, how important it is um, and how rewarding it is to be able to help people who are in a really difficult situation. So that was something that I decided I want to keep up with. And, you know, 20 years later, I'm still doing it. So yeah, it's, it's definitely something that um, touches quite close to the heart, I think. Mm, and we've, we've been on a very steep learning curve, all of us um, yoga teachers at the moment. Um, and how have, you, how have you been finding, have you been able to connect in with um, those, you know, the, that, those two groups um, who probably yeah. have to self isolate a lot quicker than others maybe? Yeah, so in some ways, um, I was kind of pushed into it a little bit sooner because these were people that were wanting to isolate before we had kind of this official restrictive measures coming in. Um, so yes, I have been trying to come to grips with new technology, which isn't sort of necessarily my my happy place or the place that I'm most comfortable in. I much prefer being in a room with people. Um, but I'm also finding, you know, there are benefits. And as you mentioned, like this forum could be anyone anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be people who physically can get to a space. Um, so yes, I am I'm refining Zoom and the, finding different functions. Um, and so far my clients have been able to work that way as well, including some older people. Um, so yes, I'm just aware that, you know, at times it might be good to be available on the phone a few minutes before a class just to talk through, okay, now if you click here and then you get the sound and all of those little technical glitches as everybody's kind of learning this new way of interacting with people. So I'm, I'm definitely not a pro, I'm still learning. Yeah, so it's, it's lovely to know that um, you help people who are also kind of in the, uh, the older community as well, who might not be so techie savvy. And actually at the moment, the idea of the world vulnerable being associated with specific groups um, might, might seem quite um, challenging anyway, because yeah. um, you know, we're vulnerable if we've got a family member who's got corona. We're vulnerable if we're self-employed and our, our way of working has been turned on its head. Um, yeah. You know, it, I would say that, you know, a, a vulnerable, uh, some people are very adaptive and, and when massive change happens, it's really easy and they're, and they're in their element maybe in times like now. And other of us find it very discombobulating. <laughs> That's a big word. Um, so yeah. uh, maybe, um, Jenny, could you kind of address, um, you know, maybe things that you're doing already um, that might be helping people who don't necessarily feel 
um, but they would, you know, they'd love themselves in a vulnerable category, but maybe now they're feeling an unbelievable wobble. <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah, it's an interesting one. And I think one of the big things that's going to come out of this whole period is about managing mental health. I mean, obviously the initial focus is trying to protect people from unnecessarily dying. So we're looking at that physical health initially. Um, but I do think like the long-term repercussions are, are going to be sort of mental and emotional. Um, and I think that's where people are having their wobbles. It's sort of managing their anxiety, um, is managing their sort of frustration or claustrophobia about being so restricted. Um, yeah, there's lots of different feelings coming up. And so I think part of what's been useful in carrying on with some online yoga classes is it gives people an opportunity just to, just to even acknowledge that, tune into what they are feeling, be able to talk about it. I've had people in a group class talk to each other and offer each other tips about what they found helpful. So it does build that little sense of community. Um, yeah, so, and then obviously, depending on what people are bringing to the class that time, then, you know, I try as a teacher to rummage through my, my bag of yoga tricks of like, oh, okay, so what's a good breathing technique for anxiety or what might be a nice physical practice to help them, you know, sort of move through some of these things. So it's sort of, it's quite spontaneous, some of what I'm teaching now, rather than having this planned, right, so this term, we're going to be covering this. <laughs> it's like, okay, so how's everyone today? What do we need to deal with? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, that, sounds, yeah, that sounds like where I'm at as well. Yeah. And I, I think it, it would be good for people to know who are going to come along to our Zoom meeting that um, we are all learning how to hold space for people in a very new and different way. And Jenny's just been explaining maybe, you know, a couple of the ways that she's been doing that. And um, coming along to the Teachers Forum will enable you to be held by... Uh, you know, by Jenny holding the space for you, which could be very, could be really lovely when we've been holding space for so many other people. Um, and maybe some of the techniques that you'll be learning at the Teachers Forum um, will be ones that you can use for yourself to support yourself as a space holder. And you can also use for your community. Um, because, you know, this is a brand new thing for us. We're holding space for people in very, very different ways to the way that we're used to. It feels very different to be away from our students um, and, to, and trying our best to support them from, you know, from our own, you know, sometimes our own living rooms, our own bedrooms, our own kitchens. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. And I, you know, I currently, um, I don't know, it's, it's a challenge to our sense of professionalism and that, <laughs> You know, we like things to be done really well. I have a huge building site next to my house, so I don't know if any of that sound is leaking through, but no, it that's, isn't. Been, <laughs> that's been constant. <laughs> and I have a very frustrated five-year-old who really doesn't know why she can't go and play on the swings and the climbing frame in the park. Um, who's trying to enter, uh, entertain herself in the garden right now and keeps giving me angry looks through the window why I'm not playing with her. <laughs> so we're kind of, we're all kind of, and so I totally get for loads of people at home, like with so-called regular jobs, they're now at home trying to do their office job with their kids running around and, yeah. you know, there's, there's a lot of challenges. And I really agree with the point you made earlier that, there's these official vulnerable groups, maybe because of their physical health. But to some degree, you know, like all of us have got some big challenges to deal with. I think we all need a little bit of support. So definitely part of what I want to do in the forum is just let that be a space where teachers can just acknowledge how they're feeling. Um, because again, with our professional boundaries we don't want to dump that on our students or our clients um but we're still human and we still need to sort of have somewhere that that we can go oh my god this is really tough and I have emotions about it too so yeah. that's that's part of what's so nice about having that forum that you set up is that it's that little bit of you know, supervision, community support that, you know, as professionals, we don't always get. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for that, Jenny. So um, let uh, we're going to post details and let everyone know how they can join the um, Teachers Forum. Um, there's going to be a join URL, which is going to be a registration. Um, really, really easy to register. And separate to that, there's the um, Teachers Forum section on, on my page where you can give your donation to um, Shelter What Happens If You Book. And um, that booking goes through via PayPal. And then any profit that's made um, is um, donated to Shelter. And um, by doing it that way, it enables me to double the donation as well. Hopefully, at the moment, I can double the donation. <laughs> um, so that's something that we've been doing. Um, so we'll do that. But in the meantime, Jenny, if people want to get hold of you and maybe find out about um, camp support or one-to-one, -one, or I know you're running a restorative class with me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so how do people get hold of you now, Jenny? Probably the simplest thing is to go to my website, which is www.jennytherapy.com. Um, and on there is my, web, is my email address and my mobile number. I'm happy to be contacted by either. Um, Great. Yeah. Great. And I know on Facebook, we've got, you know, you've got details of uh, various events that you're running as well. So thank yes. you so much. Pleasure. Thank you for your time today. And I'm really looking forward to being with you and being with all of you as well, being with um, you know, the yeah. whole um, yoga community on the 29th of April, 1.30 till 3.30, virtually. Yes. Look forward to seeing you then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye.